welcome students to your english class hope you all are fine so today we'll be doing chapter 5 from english literature reader the voice written by robert wes stevenson so what do you mean by voyage a voyage is a long journey in a ship or spacecraft so it is an extract from treasure island you all might have heard about this famous classic adventure novel. Some of you have read also, right? So before moving on to the chapter, let us know something about the author R. L. Stevenson. So Robert Louis Belfort Stevenson was born on 13 November 1850. He was a Scottish novelist, essayist, poet and travel writer. He is best known for works such as Treasure Island, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Kidnapped and A Child's Garden of Verses. He died on 3rd December 1894. So, introduction The voyage is an extract from Treasure Island. The crew of the ship was going to the Isle of Treasure. Jim Hawkins, the narrator, had found a map that guided him to a hidden treasure. Taking clues from the map, the crew started on the voyage to the treasure island. The voyage. One might expect that a high seas adventure novel would take place primarily on the boat. In Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island, this is not the case. Our narrator, Jim Hawkins, condenses the trip into a short chapter entitled The Voyage. The chapter opens as the Hispaniola prepares to set sail from Bristol Harbour. Square Trelawney, he was a local Bristol nobleman, purchased the Hispaniola, a three-masted schooner, and hired the crew. Jim becomes a cabin boy. Other crew members include Captain Smollett, Mr. Arrow, the first mate. He was an old sailor. Long John Silver, the sea cook. Dr. Levesey, Job Anderson, the boat's wine. And Israel Hans, the cock's wine. The crew spends the whole night preparing to leave on the morning tide. They were very busy. Jim works twice as hard as he has ever worked in his life. But he doesn't go to sleep when the ship sets sail. Instead, he stays on deck and watches the sailors enjoying the feeling of adventure. As the ship moves away from shore, Long John Silver begins to sing. The rest of the crew joins in. And for a moment, Jim has the creepy feeling that he can hear Billy singing alone. The voyage goes well. The Hispaniola turns out to be a wonderful ship and the crew is made up of excellent sailors. Only Mr. Arrow, the first mate, is a problem. Why? Because he repeatedly gets so drunk that he is unable to fulfill his responsibilities. Over and over, Captain Smollett has to send him to his bunk and take over his work. Nobody can figure out where the mate is getting his liquor, no matter how closely they watch him. Then one night, he simply disappears. Everyone figures that he has fallen overboard and drowned. In some ways, Long John Silver is the most impressive man on the ship. Silver is hardly showed by the fact that he has only one leg. He hops gracefully across the rocking decks, only occasionally using his crutch or grabbing a line he has tied up for steadying himself. Everywhere he goes, he carries his green parrot named Captain Flint after the famous buccaneer on his shoulder. The parrot loves to talk and often squabs pieces of eight, pieces of eight. Although Mr. Trelawney and Captain Smollett clearly dislike each other, the rest of the men on the ship are happy. The sailors are treated unusually well, as is Jim. There is always enough to eat and there are often small treats that would not be available on most ships. 
For example, a barrel of apples is always kept open and anyone is allowed to grab one whenever he wants. One night when Jim finishes all of his tucks, he decides to go get a snack. The barrel happens to be almost empty and he climbs inside to look for an apple. Lulled by the rocking of the boat, Jim falls asleep inside the apple barrel. But soon Long John Silver's voice wakes him up. Jim is about to get up and say hello when he realizes that Silver is saying something terribly disturbing. Hearing this, Jim freezes and listens. He understood that the lives of all the honest men ever depended upon him alone. So children, I hope you all have understood the chapter. So your class assignment is you have to choose the correct option. So who is the narrator of the story? Can any one of you please tell? Mr. Arrow, Jim Hawkins or R. L. Stevenson? Yes, children. Yes, absolutely right. The answer will be Jim Hawkins. Which ship is being spoken of? Hispaniola, Titanic, Santa Maria. Yes, the answer will be Hispaniola. Who was Mr. Arrow? One-legged cook, an old sailor, a pirate. Yes, Mr. Arrow was an old sailor. So your home assignment for today is you have to read the chapter thoroughly and learn the new words. So this much for today. I will be back in the next class. Thank you children.